Have you ever wondered why your creatinine levels aren't improving even though you're eating better or taking your meds? You're definitely not alone. Most people focus on what they do during the day, but here's something we often forget. Your kidneys actually work hardest at night. While you sleep, your kidneys filter out toxins, balance your body's fluids, and even help repair damaged cells. But when your bedtime habits aren't supportive, that precious overnight repair time can get interrupted. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah, and welcome to Vital Harmony, where we dive into science-backed natural ways to help you live longer, feel stronger, and stay in harmony with your body. Today, I'm sharing nine powerful bedtime habits that can help lower creatinine and protect your kidneys. Some might surprise you, and a few you may need to avoid altogether. So grab a cozy seat and let's get into it, because your best kidney health could start tonight. Habit 1. Avoid heavy or high-sodium meals before bed. Let's start with one of the biggest and most common culprits, eating heavy, salty meals too close to bedtime. Here's the thing, your kidneys are already working hard while you sleep to filter your blood and balance fluids, but when you eat a large or high-sodium meal late in the evening, especially things like frozen dinners, takeout, deli meats, salty snacks, or even canned soups, it puts extra pressure on those filtering systems. Too much sodium can cause your body to retain water, which raises your blood pressure and forces your kidneys to work overtime to manage fluid balance. Over time, that can worsen kidney damage and lead to even higher creatinine levels. And let's not forget digestion. When your body's still trying to break down food, it disrupts your natural nighttime repair cycle, which your kidneys depend on. So what should you do instead? Aim to eat your final full meal about two to three hours before bedtime. This gives your body enough time to digest and reduces the chance of acid reflux, bloating, or increased nighttime urination. If you're feeling a little hungry before bed, try one of these gentle, kidney-friendly snacks. A handful of unsalted almonds, a small cup of low-sodium vegetable soup, a low-potassium fruit smoothie made with blueberries, apples, or a few slices of pear. Half a rice cake with almond butter. These options are lower in sodium, easier to digest, and won't put extra strain on your kidneys overnight. The goal is to support your kidneys while they're doing their best cleanup work, not overload them. Habit two, drink kidney-friendly herbal tea. Let's talk about a simple nighttime ritual that can do wonders for your kidneys, sipping the right herbal tea before bed. Now, not all teas are created equal, especially when it comes to kidney health. Some contain compounds that can build up in your system or stress your kidneys, but certain herbal teas, they can actually help support detox, reduce inflammation, and even help you relax for better sleep. Three of my top favorites for kidney support are dandelion tea. This natural diuretic supports gentle cleansing by encouraging the kidneys to flush out excess waste and fluid. Nettle tea, rich in antioxidants and minerals. Nettle can help reduce inflammation and support healthy kidney function. Chamomile tea, while it's best known for relaxation, chamomile also has mild anti-inflammatory effects and may help reduce oxidative stress on the kidneys. Want to boost your tea even more? Add a squeeze of lemon for vitamin C, a sprinkle of cinnamon to support blood sugar balance, or a drop of raw honey for soothing sweetness and antioxidants. Just remember, everything in moderation, especially honey if you're managing blood sugar levels. But a quick heads up, some teas can actually do more harm than good. Avoid black and green tea in the evening. They're high in oxalates, which can contribute to kidney stones in sensitive individuals. And skip licorice tea altogether if you have high blood pressure. It can worsen it by increasing sodium retention. A warm cup of herbal tea about an hour before bed can help you wind down, stay hydrated without overdoing it, and gently support your kidneys through the night. Habit 3. Limit caffeine and alcohol in the evening. Now let's talk about two common evening indulgences that quietly sabotage your kidneys, caffeine and alcohol. Both of these substances are known diuretics, which means they make your body lose fluids. That may sound harmless, but at night, this puts extra stress on your kidneys. Why? Because your kidneys need a stable fluid balance to properly filter waste. 
When you're dehydrated, even mildly, it concentrates your blood and increases creatinine levels. Let's start with caffeine. Drinking coffee, cola, or even green tea too late in the day can increase blood pressure, overstimulate your nervous system, and interfere with deep, restorative sleep. Poor sleep alone is linked to worse kidney function over time, and combined with dehydration, it's a recipe for more strain. Now on to alcohol. Even a single glass of wine or a cocktail before bed can raise your blood pressure and alter how your kidneys and liver process toxins. Plus, alcohol disrupts your body's natural sleep cycle. You may fall asleep faster, but you're more likely to wake up during the night, interrupting the time when your kidneys should be working most efficiently. So what are better options? If you're craving a warm or flavorful drink after dinner, try peppermint tea. Great for digestion and completely caffeine-free. Ginger tea, anti-inflammatory and warming without overstimulating. Warm lemon water, gentle on the kidneys and supports mild detox cucumber mint infusion, refreshing, hydrating, and relaxing. These choices won't overstimulate your system, and they actually support your kidneys in staying hydrated and relaxed overnight. The takeaway, save the coffee and wine for earlier in the day and treat your evenings as a time for restoration and kidney support. Habit 4. Stay hydrated, but not too much hydration is essential for kidney health. But at night, balance is everything. You've probably heard that drinking more water helps flush out your kidneys, and that's true to a point. But drinking too much water right before bed can backfire. It may lead to interrupted sleep from frequent bathroom trips, or worse, stress your kidneys by forcing them to process excess fluid when they're trying to rest and repair. On the flip side, if you don't drink enough water throughout the day, your body may become mildly dehydrated by bedtime. And when that happens, your creatinine levels can temporarily rise, simply because there isn't enough fluid to properly dilute and remove waste. So, how do you strike the right balance? Best practice, stay consistently hydrated during the day, aiming for 6 to 8 cups of fluid, depending on your doctor's guidance and your specific kidney function. By evening, begin tapering down your fluid intake. About one hour before bed, you can enjoy a small glass of plain water, just a few sips if you're already well hydrated. Light herbal tea, or a small infused water with cucumber or a slice of lemon. Avoid large volumes of fluid at night and steer clear of carbonated or sugary drinks, which can irritate your bladder and disrupt your sleep. The goal is to keep your kidneys supported, not overloaded. Habit 5. Elevate legs and massage feet. Here's a bedtime habit that feels good and supports your kidneys. Elevating your legs and gently massaging your feet. If you've ever noticed swelling in your ankles or feet by the end of the day, that's a sign of fluid retention, also known as edema. And when fluid builds up in your lower body, your kidneys have to work harder to rebalance it overnight. That extra strain can worsen filtration and push creatinine levels higher. Lifting your legs for just 15 to 20 minutes before bed helps the fluid move back toward your upper body, easing the workload on your heart and kidneys. Here's how to do it. Lie flat on your back near a wall. Raise your legs straight up against the wall or stack pillows under them. Relax and breathe deeply. It's a great way to calm your nervous system too. Now pair that with a simple foot massage. It boosts circulation, soothes nerve endings, and helps the body enter a more relaxed healing state. You don't need fancy tools. Just use your hands or a tennis ball. Gently press and roll the soles, heels, and arches of your feet in small circles. Want an extra boost? Try a small amount of lavender or peppermint essential oil mixed with a carrier oil. Lavender promotes relaxation, while peppermint may help reduce fluid buildup and inflammation. This calming nighttime ritual helps your body shift from fight or flight into rest and repair, which is exactly what your kidneys need. Habit 6. Practice relaxation techniques. Let's talk about something most people overlook when managing kidney health, stress. Chronic stress quietly raises your cortisol levels, which leads to inflammation, higher blood pressure, and greater strain on your kidneys, especially at night, when your body should be in healing mode. And here's the tricky part. Even if you don't feel stressed, your nervous system might still be on high alert, especially if your evenings are filled with screens, noise, or overthinking. So how do we gently shift from stress to restoration? With simple, science-backed relaxation techniques you can do every night. Try one or more of these. Deep breathing, 478 method. 
Inhale through your nose for four seconds. Hold for seven and exhale slowly for eight. This pattern tells your brain to activate the parasympathetic system, your body's natural relaxation mode, mindful meditation or gratitude practice. Just 5 to 10 minutes of focusing on your breath or quietly naming things you're grateful for has been shown to lower stress hormones and improve sleep quality. Gentle Bedtime Yoga Certain yoga poses like child's pose, legs up the wall, and seated forward bend are especially helpful for calming the nervous system and supporting circulation to your kidneys. Screen-free when downtime. At least 30 to 60 minutes before bed, reduce screen exposure. Blue light delays melatonin, your sleep hormone, and the stimulation from news, emails, or social media keeps your stress response active. The result? Your blood pressure stays elevated, your kidneys get less recovery time, and creatinine may remain high. Relaxation isn't a luxury. It's a healing tool, especially for your kidneys. Habit 7. Sleep on your left side. Here's a small bedtime tweak that might have a big impact. Sleeping on your left side. It sounds almost too simple, but your sleeping position actually affects how your organs function, including your kidneys, liver, heart, and digestive system. When you sleep on your left side, you take pressure off your right kidney and liver, which are both involved in filtering waste and balancing fluids. This position also supports better lymphatic drainage, improved circulation, and healthier digestion, all of which help reduce the toxic load your kidneys handle at night. Now, if you're a back or stomach sleeper, switching to side sleeping may feel unfamiliar at first, but here are a few gentle tips to make it easier. Use a firm pillow behind your back to keep you from rolling onto your right side or back. Place a small pillow between your knees to reduce strain on your hips and spine. If needed, elevate your upper body slightly with an extra pillow to ease breathing and reduce reflux. Some people even notice that left side sleeping reduces nighttime urination, especially if you're prone to fluid retention or high blood pressure. Of course, everyone's anatomy is different, so listen to your body. But if you're able to make this shift, it could offer subtle but powerful support to your kidneys each night. Habit 8. Monitor blood sugar before bed. Now, let's talk about something that often flies under the radar but is absolutely crucial for kidney health, blood sugar control, especially if you have diabetes or prediabetes. Your kidneys are tiny powerhouses filtering waste from your blood, but when blood sugar stays too high for too long, it damages the delicate blood vessels inside your kidneys. Over time, this makes it harder for them to filter waste properly, and that's a big reason why creatinine levels can rise. Even low blood sugar can cause problems at night. When your glucose drops too low, your body reacts by releasing stress hormones like cortisol, which can spike blood pressure and strain your kidneys. So what can you do before bedtime to help keep blood sugar steady? First, check your blood sugar levels before you sleep, especially if you're diabetic. This simple habit can help you catch highs or lows and adjust as needed. Second, if you need a bedtime snack, choose foods that balance protein, fiber, and healthy fats to prevent spikes and crashes. Some great examples are a small bowl of Greek yogurt with a few berries, whole grain toast with natural peanut or almond butter, a handful of unsalted nuts like walnuts or almonds. Third, a bit of light evening movement, like a short walk, can help regulate blood sugar without overexerting you. And finally, always follow your doctor's advice for medications or insulin timing. These can make a huge difference in overnight blood sugar control. Remember, managing your blood sugar is one of the most powerful ways to protect your kidneys long term. It's a habit that pays off every night while you rest. Habit 9. Maintain a consistent sleep schedule. Here's a bedtime habit that's simple but incredibly powerful. Keeping a regular sleep schedule. You might not realize it, but your kidneys follow something called a circadian rhythm. That's your body's internal clock, which tells your organs when to work and when to rest. When your sleep times are all over the place, staying up late one night, sleeping in the next, it disrupts this rhythm. Why does this matter? Well, irregular sleep can cause your kidneys to lose their natural filtering rhythm, making it harder for them to clear creatinine and toxins efficiently. Plus, poor or inconsistent sleep often leads to higher blood pressure and inflammation, both enemies of kidney health. So how can you help your kidneys by simply managing your bedtime? Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This consistency trains your body and kidneys to function smoothly. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep. 
Too little sleep can raise inflammation, while too much might sometimes indicate other health issues. So aim for that sweet spot. Avoid heavy meals, caffeine, and screen time one to two hours before bed to help your body wind down naturally. Create a calming bedtime routine. Dim the lights, read a book, or listen to soft music. Take a warm shower, or enjoy a soothing herbal tea like chamomile. Science shows that people with chronic kidney disease who have erratic sleep patterns tend to experience faster kidney function decline. By syncing your sleep schedule, you're giving your kidneys a much-needed edge to work better overnight. So tonight, as you settle in, remember your kidneys have a crucial job to do while you sleep, and these nine simple habits can help them do it better. From what you eat and drink, to how you relax and even your sleep position, every choice supports healthier kidney function and lower creatinine levels. If you found these tips helpful, please like this video and subscribe to Vital Harmony for more natural, science-backed advice. I'd love to hear which habit you're going to try first. Drop a comment below. Your kidneys will thank you, especially when you give them the right support starting tonight. Take care and sleep well.